ever get the feeling the International Olympic Committee is kind of like a professional wrestling referee? You know the drill, folks. The heel in the ring is repeatedly using a foreign object on the good guy, so the ref sternly tells the villain, Listen, Crusher, you cut that out now. This is your ninth warning, and if I catch you cheating again, well, I'm going to warn you a tenth time. Now, it didn't take long for a shameful incident to occur at the Rio Games. Actually, it occurred prior to the opening ceremony. That might be a new Olympic record, folks. You see, a group of Lebanese athletes blocked an Israeli delegation from boarding a bus en route to the stadium. Israeli sailing team coach Yudi Gal described the odious incident in a Facebook posting. He noted that once members of the Lebanese delegation learned they were going to share a bus with <gasps> shockers, Israelis, they demanded the bus driver close the doors. When the driver eventually opened the doors, Lebanese athletes physically blocked the entranceway. Gee, I guess they were trying out for the sumo wrestling team, perhaps. Here's the part of the story that makes me really chuckle. The Olympic organizers didn't want to create a diplomatic incident, so the Israeli athletes and coaches were directed to another bus. It's amusing because, first of all, it was already too late to ward off a diplomatic incident, given that a diplomatic incident had already occurred. And secondly, once again, those in charge have addressed the issue of bullying by, well, <laughs> accommodating the bullies. During a hearing the following day, the IOC committee warned the head of the Lebanese delegation that the IOC wouldn't accept any further incidences until, I suppose, a further incident occurs again, which is why the IOC resembles that toothless tiger that is a professional wrestling referee. All bark, no bite. And if you just want more proof, check out those pharmaceutical science specimens that currently make up what's left of the Russian delegation. For the record, the head of the Lebanese delegation said the whole incident was the result of a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Gee, this wasn't even a case of, hey, Jews, back to the bus. No, they couldn't even get on the bus. Where's the nuance here? Still, thank goodness for minor miracles. It's not as though the Lebanese went all jihadi on the Israelis. The world witnessed that atrocity in 1972 in Munich when Palestinian terrorists massacred Israeli athletes. No, Busgate hasn't received a lot of attention, of course, yet... I wonder how this tale would have played out in the mainstream media if the roles had been reversed and the Israeli delegation prevented the Lebanese from getting on the bus. Well, I have your Toronto Star headline right here, folks. Zionists occupy Olympic bus as hapless Lebanese athletes displaced. Ah, the sports world is supposed to be separate from the political world, but it's increasingly clear that when it comes to those who head up international sports federations, there's a double standard when it comes to Israel. Just consider the world governing body of soccer, FIFA. Going by geography, Israel is supposed to compete in the Asia division along with all the other nations in the Middle East. Just one hitch. Several of those Islamic nations refuse to share the same pitch as Israel. It's that whole, you know, Jews being the sons of pigs and apes shtick. But instead of disqualifying those countries in the Middle East for literally refusing to play ball with the one nation in that region that actually embraces tolerance and democracy, FIFA accommodates the bullies, just like the IOC. So it is that contrary to geography, Israel has to earn a World Cup berth by competing in the European division, which also happens to be the world's toughest division. Shame. So congratulations, FIFA and IOC. You are the co-gold medal winners when it comes to cowardice. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.